Welcome to Tech Notice. This over here is the Asus ProArt PA602 and I think this is the best case for creative professionals. And we actually swapped our main editing PC into this one. Let me tell you why and more about this PA602 ProArt from Asus. Licensing Windows is cheap and easy with whokeys.com and if you use the code TN20 you get an extra discount. Complete the purchase, copy the key and paste it to the activation settings. And you're all done! Also check out their Microsoft Office 19 license and use the same code TN20 for the extra discount. Check out whokeys.com in the video description below. So basically we've had some issues with our ProArt Z790 motherboard which the video is going to come out. The issues aren't fully resolved yet. The story continues. Once it's out, stick around for that because I can't believe what we've gone through. During that process, I just rebuilt the editing PC because the one that we had in our Antec Performance One full tower, basically that right now is in, in bits because it's not fully working properly. So I took some parts and rebuilt like the new editing PC. So basically after this video, this will be 100% what the editor in our team is gonna be using. This case I think is very, very interesting for creators. So let's, let's talk about it first. It's a large full tower case. If this is an issue for you, if you like small cases, then this is not for you. But there are some big benefits because it is so big. Opening the panels or side panels panels is or even front panels is really nice there's like a button that releases everything i think be quiet some of the be quiet cases do that but basically there's a button in the back i press it the front panel comes off but it's not going to fall out as you can see there's like a little safety in there so i can take the glass and then put it away if you haven't seen the dream dream create a pc build that we did inside this pc case highly recommend you checking out because i'll go a little bit more in detail about certain things about this this is more in-depth but there I'm talking about the full other build and why and it's very different from what we've done on the channel so you probably want to check it out. So I'll do the same with the back panel. It opens exactly the same way except it is not glass, it's just steel just to make the case a little bit lighter when I'm trying to shift it around. When moving the case and building on the table for example, there are wheels on the back so if you tilt the case slightly towards the back like that, you can actually now just move the case around and it actually just slides on the wheels, which is so helpful when you want to turn it around and when you've got a heavy PC like this, this really, really helps. This is the front panel. And as you can see, there are design, the Pro Art is in there as well. If you press these buttons in the back on the sides here, it comes off and it's the same way. There's like a little protection on the bottom and then you just lift up and then this comes off. You've got a little Pro Art logo here as well that I'm loving the black and gold design. There is a little like a filtered mesh in here that does come off, as you can see. You can just remove it and then clean it. But this is not your usual mesh. It is actually a smart mesh. What I mean by that is, can you see this thing over here? This is a smart IR sensor. And basically that sensor is gonna sense how much dust is on that filter. And when the filter gets full, it's actually gonna let you know in here, on this side, can you see over here, there is a little light and then a button that tells you when the filter needs cleaning basically. So you can just get on with your things and not worry about it. And then at the right time, it will let you know when it's time to clean the filter. Fantastic. In the front here, there are two 200 millimeter fans, but these aren't like usual 25 millimeters thick. These are like 38 millimeters thick. They can run very slowly and shift a ton of air through. And that is one of the main reasons why we changed for this one, because the previous Antec Full Tower FD1 case had only 140 millimeter fans in the front. And often we could see it like ramping up and it was getting loud when they're ramping up because they make a lot of noise. This here is just very, very quiet and silent because they just shift a ton of air through and it's fantastic. I'm a big fan of this. Now, there doesn't seem to be a bracket in here to fit any radiators or 120 or 140 millimeter uh, fans in here. I do see two holes in here, which means that there's probably like 180 millimeter fans that you can put here as well. But I'm not sure if you can get 200 millimeter fans like these. I guess Asus will sell you replacements, I suppose. 
but that's that. In terms of the rest of the fan support, you've got up to 140 millimeter fan support in the back, and it does come with these two fans already, or these three fans already installed. The two 200 millimeter fans in the front, and then this 140 millimeter fan in the back. And honestly, you don't need any other fans unless you want RGB or you just want to change it because of the aesthetics. But in terms of performance, these fans are fantastic that are included. This is the top of the case. And in order to remove this mesh filter, there is a little latch on the back over here. So you just pull this backwards and then you can just pull it up and then it comes off very easily. There is a filter in there as well that you can easily clean. But here you can see the radiator. Now, this case is built really for this radiator here. And this is the Asus ProArt LC420. So their AIO 420 millimeter AIO, which is a little bit of a thicker radiator than your usual AIOs. I know Arctic has thick radiator as well, but this is one of those thick radiators. I've actually damaged it here a little bit, but it's just the fins. So in the back here, there is a, like a plastic compartment where you can put the antenna for your motherboard, the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antenna. So it's not just dangling around on your motherboard somewhere, it's actually nicely hidden. And then the cable comes out from the back in there. As you can see, it goes into there. I'm really liking this tiny little invention, just keeps the case a little bit more cleaner and you're not gonna trip on anything or it's not gonna get loose, it's just in there. Now, some people say that this is in a metal compartment. It isn't really, it's plastic all the way around. So it still gets the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth signal very well. I've had no issues with that. So the top does support up to 420 millimeter radiators. So 360, 280, 220, and 240, they go there as well. While we're looking at the top panel, let's look at the front panel IO. From the right, we have the power button and the power button actually has a lock. So let's say you're doing a render as a creator and you don't want to accidentally put your power a PC to sleep or restart it. So you just press that. You just press this button down. And now when you accidentally hit that, you can't actually turn the PC off. Now, the weird thing is that the reset button is still kind of pressable, but you're not gonna press it accidentally or when you put something in there because it's a little bit smaller. So you do have to press it in there. If you still have kids with small fingers, I guess this is still possible, but it is 60% there solving the problem. Then we've got quite a bit of IO. We've got USB 3.0 ports, type A here, one type C, and if you have the ProArt motherboard, then this type C is gonna be 3.2 Gen 2 X2 slot, so up to 20 gigabits in speed if you've got drives that support that, as well as power delivery up to 60 watts, so you can charge your phones or other bits, um, fast charging basically. Fast charging, I think it's PD 3.0, in there then two 2.0 usb ports there i guess you're not going to be transferring any files from there but this is more for like your receivers or wireless mouse keyboard bits that you want to plug into there then one headphone and mic combo jack in there as well and then another switch or button in here that i thought i'm not going to use as much but actually i found it very very helpful so this basically is just a switch to put the fans from auto which is set by the motherboard, you know, all the fan curves that you've set in BIOS. And then when you press it to max, it basically overrides the motherboard and it just starts to run all the, you know, fans as maximum speed, which means that you can easily, very quickly cool down all the inside of the PC. Let's say you feel like it's getting a little bit hot or you're doing a render and you want it to be very cool or whatever reason you want the PC inside to be cooled down very quickly. Flicking it at max is really nice. It just instantly pretty much cools it down when those 200 millimeter fans start going 100%, it just shifts it all through. And I found it very helpful whenever we're editing and we're like, Ooh, I think this is like the PC is quite hot and always ramping up or kind of like in the border there where it's just very warm inside. Just put that to max for a little bit and then it cools it down and then it can just be normalized again in terms of volume. When looking at the back of the PC case, there are some interesting things going on here as well. Firstly, the GPU, change or the locking mechanism is very very interesting so you just have this thumb screw here that you undo and then pull this flap up and then the screws in there are just going to release the gpu so you can change your gpu or take it off without any screws any tools at all all like kind of toolless design which is fantastic if something happens with your gpu or you constantly need to change it up for whatever reason it's very nice but that only worked with the top three slots if you've got anything further down from like fourth onwards then you do have to use screws because that doesn't go all the way there there is quite a bit of ventilation for for the sides here for air to come out hopefully you're running this as a you know positive 
air pressure inside there. But also there is ventilation kind of on the side or back panel here. So if you've got a drives or even the back of the motherboard um, CPU socket gets sometimes very, very warm. But this here just kind of makes sure that it, it can go out, you know, come out and the hot air can ventilate from here, which is nice. Usually this is like all just solid and there's no ventilation to the back but this one does ventilate the back which i'm very happy with there is a dust filter underneath as well that you can access from the front if you pull the front panel off there we go it's already coming off from there so all from the bottom if you've got a psu upside down you can just easily clean that filter there as well and here you can see that little hole where the antenna goes in as well as these buttons that release the side panels see how nice this is to like move the case around because you've got wheels underneath on the back okay the back of the pc case now i haven't done any cable management here because i want this to be kind of loose whenever i need to change something they can be there and anything can be loose in here there's quite a bit of room so you don't need to worry about like oh the panel's not closing i've kind of left them in here and it closes one thing i do want to mention is that the pro art clips here they're not the strongest so there's this tiny little plastic kind of a crack that you have to go through and bend it over and then pull it tight to for these cable management straps. I actually just broke the middle one and I didn't do it very hard. Just tried to tighten it and then boom, it snapped off. So they're not the strongest. I wish, you know, they used a little bit of stronger uh, plastic there or had the plastic not as thin as it is over there. It's, it's very, very, it feels a little bit fragile, so just be careful with that. There's plenty of drive support in here for 2.5 or 3.5 inch drives in there, as well as underneath that you can put in there, but I've taken them out because I didn't need them. And the cable management really is very, very easy and useful. Uh, you've got the fan hub connected here as well, and that will be connected to the switch on the front there that overrides the motherboard fan curves one if you wanted to. And uh, that's really the back of the case. So I've got my setup that's in here that I think is very nice. So I've got the LC420 from ProArt. I've got the T-Create 128 gigabytes of RAM, Z790 ProArt as well. This is a 1490 from MSI. This is the Gaming X one. I'm using a Be Quiet 12 volt high power cable here, which is angled. So you can buy them separately if your power supply supports, you know, the native 12 volt high power connector, the 16 pin connector, you can put it in there, but they've already angled angled it one way I really wanted it to angle down so I can come out from this hole that's in the power supply shroud in there but it is actually the other way and just bear that in mind when you're getting them because some GPUs have it the power kind of a plug slot there one way some of them the other way so just so you know just make sure that this matches online and think about that but for the pro art build we did have the two cables come out from there the two golden ones and that was fantastic now it's got a built-in gpu sag bracket in there as well which is really nice and it's so easy to access and do sometimes you have to do some screws in the back and it's a bit of a nightmare this is just the thumb screw you just put it underneath your gpu tighten it up no problem it's like very easy to build in there's plenty of space to get all the cables through or out and everything inside this pc case is also kind of aerodynamically designed so that the airflow is the best so we'll do it upside down so it's a little bit easier and lighter for you to see there's a bit more light going in it's designed so that the air wouldn't get stuck in there but the air that comes in here kind of angles up and then comes over all of your equipment in there, which is really, really nice. This can be moved like closer or further away, this as well, with these two thumb screws in there and on the top. So if you want it a little bit closer or so on, you can easily do that. Or if you've got an E8X motherboard, something like that, you can move it further away. So I like that, or take it completely off if you wanted to. But it's a nice like airflow guide, as well as this bottom power supply shroud. So this doesn't like end just over there, but it guides the airflow up and then over either underneath this GPU in here or just over to come up. On the top, I've got the 420 millimeter AIO exhausting coming out from the top. And then on the top of the case, if you want to lift the case from the top, there is these like kind of handle bars, or if you want to take hold of these, they're very, very strong. Just take both, both sides like there around it and then lift the case from there. It's nice as well. So there is one screw just over here. And let's say you do want to change something on your power supply or want to get the cables out. Usually this is a right nightmare, but check this out. And then now the whole shroud here comes off and then you can easily access all of your cables, everything from the power supply down there 
this is such a time saver when you're building this. They've really thought about the service aspect and really making sure that you can easily change or configure this when something happens with this. It's really nice. And the power supply shroud doesn't have, um, this is a hole in there as well. So as you can see in here, so some of the front air will go underneath and will be supplied to the power supply or your drives if you've got, you know, your spinning disks or hard drives underneath there as well. Screw it in and it's all like tight. Absolutely loving this design as well. So as you can see, this is the bottom filter that you can get out. These holes in here are just so that the chassis can get uh, intake for the power supply even from the side, let's say, if, because it's sitting very close to the ground. So this just makes sure that this goes underneath. This doesn't go actually inside this compartment. It just lets underneath the PC case where the vent is here. So there's like kind of ventilation there as well. Now there are one downside of the case, which is the price. And it's slightly on the expensive side, but you can be the judge of that. Let me know if you'd get this or some of the other ones, because there are some other expensive cases out there that are more for the show. But in here, I feel like what you're paying for, for this case, you really get the performance back. It's got some designs or actual features that are helpful, not just some kind of aesthetics, like a cool design. You get really good fans, you get good airflow, you get good serviceability and adjustability and everything's included. I'm loving this case. And for that reason, we're going with this, especially because of the quiet aspect and the performance, what you're getting with the cooling as well is really, really good. I think this is my new favorite case. Let me know what you think in the comments section below i'd love to know your experience if you've had any or if you'd like to get this let me know what you're thinking good sides bad sides concerns yeah i'll meet you in the comment section below and if you do want to pick it up link in the description below as well as the build what we did with this as well as minect if you want to reach out to me i'll get back to all of my minect messages at all times so if you do have any questions and you don't get an answer through dms or email then my next, you always get an answer from me. Go check it out and I'll see you next time. Thanks guys for watching. Subscribe and like if you haven't already and bye-bye.